I'm actually kind of excited because there's a particular verse that is in the passages we've been reading that has spoken deeply to me over the years. So if we can get the Tribe Talk countdown ready, this is Pastor Ryan fill-in time, and uh, we're going to celebrate that God's word doesn't change, right? So are we, are we rolling countdown? Okay. All right, I got three minutes. Here we go. So in the, in the Old Testament, the portion of scripture we're in, there's these twin prophets Their names are Haggai and Zechariah. And Haggai and Zechariah were sent by God to talk to the people. Basically what had happened is that the the people had been in exile. They had been taken away into captivity. And God moved the heart of the king to release them back to Jerusalem. And so the exiles returned. And that alone was a fulfillment of prophecy. And they returned to do some pretty important things. They returned to rebuild Jerusalem. And first and foremost, their first priority was to rebuild the temple. The temple, the seat of God's presence here on earth at that time was in the temple. And some years go by and they encountered a lot of opposition and they encountered a lot of things that caused them to really struggle to build that temple. And it took a long time and they started to give up. They started to give up and the temple sat unfinished. And then God moved the heart of the prophets of Haggai and Zechariah to go and speak to them and say, is there anything more important than the presence of God? Is there anything that we need more than the presence of God. And so there's an amazing, amazing call to action that is given by these two prophets. I like it too because Haggai and Zechariah are like, uh, they're, they're like complete opposites in their approach to this. But they, they challenge the people who had gone off to build their own homes, who had gone off to take care of their own business, who were you know, kind of sick of the opposition. They challenge the people to really consider what's first of importance in their lives. And and I love it because what it speaks to me is this. The temple was the seat of God's presence on earth. The temple was the seat of God's intimacy with us on earth. And, And we know, how many of you guys know that the Bible tells us that today we are the temple of the Holy Spirit because of what Jesus did for us. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. That we need his presence more today than ever before. And what I want to challenge us with today is just like Haggai and Zechariah said, is there anything more important in your life today? How's your temple looking today? Is it still half built? Have you gone off to go and build your own kingdom? Or is your temple complete? And if it's not complete, what's stopping you? What's stopping you continually giving your heart to God? And so I want to read to you this verse for the next few seconds. This is the promise that comes. Basically, they were told that, you know, until that temple is finished, you're going to plant seeds and they're not going to grow. You're going to put your money in bags with holes in it. And then the Lord says this to them. He says, but now I will not deal with the remnant of this people as I did in the past, declares the Lord Almighty. The seed will grow well. The vine will yield its fruit. The ground will produce its crops. The heavens will drop their dew. So I will save you and you will be a blessing. Do not be afraid, but let your hands be strong. That's God's promise when we build his temple. That's God's promise when we seek his presence. Amen? All right, we finished.